Hello YouTube friends. The video that follows is a, a, a whole uh, mixture of a trip to town that I made uh, with one reason. Uh, I, mean, I did loads of other things as well. But I'm going to leave you a link to uh, a video, Arn and Carlos, um, my, I, who I absolutely love watching. I'm going to leave you a link to the video that's inspired me to do this make that I'm doing now. Now, the video is all about the Christmas star that they made to hang on the side of their house. And I really enjoyed watching it because Arn is the um, more practical one with woodwork and Carlos is the cook. And so sometimes they uh, challenge each other to do each other's special skills. So Arna was the cameraman for this one and Carlos made, did the woodwork or the carpenting. <laughs> the carpenting. Um, now, f first and foremost, what I want to say is um, these guys are doing this in not in their first language. I have a huge respect for people who who have a public presence like that, who, who for whom English isn't their first language. I'll take that on board straight away. Secondly, this is not Carlos's thing. He's an amazing tailor. Have you been watching um, them making their folk costumes? Amazing tailoring skills. Much, much, much better sewing skills than I'll ever have. And knitting, those amazing colour work that they do. Anyway, this video that follows is a trip I took to my little local town here. Uh, and I was doing all sorts of stocking up as well for the coming weeks because, you know, we can't run out of stuff for the cats and the hens and the goose or me. <laughs> so come along with me now and we're going to go to town and buy the things that I need to make this um, star. And I'm going to tell you now for people who are watching and think that firstly, um, I drill holes in the table. I don't. But secondly, I, it doesn't work. It does. I just want to do spoiler alerts all the way along the line there because, uh, you know, there are no tragedies. It works fine. Uh, and so uh, as it's just spoil, spoil. If everyone's looking out for the, the health of the table or me, it all goes fine. Absolutely swimmingly. So watch now. We're going to go. Um, I, I, I went to get the car started and it was all frozen over. So the first thing we have to do is defrost the car. Anyway, I'll see you at the end of this with hopefully a finished star that goes on the on the side of the house and looks amazing in the night time. So I've come up here to the where they've got all the bits of wood that I need and we're going to find the right sizes and get the guy to cut it for me. So many bits. Depends how big a star I want. I don't really want one that wide, do I? Um, I'm guessing this looks about the size that Carlos had and that's also the smallest one they've got. So I'll ask the guy to cut me six of them. No, five. I don't need six, I need five. I'll ask the guy to cut me five of them. I'll just, uh, he does it on his little saw there. He just cuts them up. So anyway, that's where I, whenever I've got a wooden project in my head, that's where I come. And they're really kind, they cut them to the right size and everything, there they are. Oh, your cat look asleep on the chair. What's What's his name? Simon. Simon! 
Don't wake up, Simon. <laughs> I've got screws at home. I don't need to buy screws. And I've got a drill and everything. So we'll do that now. Go home and make this. Need the lights next. Let's go and get them. There's a shop right next door that sells uh, some, like a hardware store and I'm guessing they'll have outdoor Christmas lights. So let's go and uh, buy some Christmas lights next. Oh, I've hit right on the right department as soon as I walk through the door. Let's go and see what we can find. I think that's the one I want. Indoor or outdoor? Warm white. Sorted. And quite handily, this shop is next door to a pet shop. So I'm going to go there now and stock up on cat food. Because uh, it's not good to run out of cat food, is it? Okay, next stop, that's the cats sorted. Next stop, I'm going to pick up some corn uh, for the hens and the goose. Uh, can't run out of that over Christmas, can we? So let's go and do that. So I've just pulled up at the feed merchants. I like to park as near to the gate uh, to the uh, storeroom as I can so that he hasn't got to carry things too far. Uh, so we're going, I'm going to go and get some uh, poultry corn for the girls now. It's because my trolley's full and I would have to make two, I would have to do two trips. Well, I can't even lift one out. So I'm de definitely grateful. Thanks very no much indeed. Did you see that? Two sacks at the same time. I need him to come home with me to lift them out. Because what has to happen now is I have to leave those in the car and wait till John comes round and lift them out. I can't lift them out. I'm going to go home now. Well, I'm tired. So I've got back home with everything now. Six, uh, five of these. A packet of these lights here. And I've got my drill out, because I have a drill here. And I have the drill bits here. And what I didn't need to buy, I have a little jam jar with screws in. So I'm just hoping some of those will be the right size. Now this is a drill uh, that uh, my son John bought me uh, for Mother's Day a few years ago. 
uh, it's a, uh, we call it uh, my girl drill because uh, if ever I need to do a little job around the place um, I can do it myself now just simple things uh, like making this star that I am you know I made some shelves all oh, way way back now uh, for the kitchen which is still absolutely great and then I made some uh, supports to put some plants on the other day simple simple screwing so I'm no expert at this at all but uh, I, I know that I can manage to do this so um, here we go I have don't know why I still got my coat on <laughs> take my coat off because I'm, I'm so excited to get started with it I just didn't even take my coat off okay now straight away the problem I've got is I haven't got anyone to film me so Arn and Carlos there's two of them and this always seems to me like the um a massive advantage there's so it's so brilliant that there's two of them there's one of me and I do struggle with there being one of me sometimes also I'm not going to do it outside uh on a snowy table uh you know uh, check out Arn and Carlos. I'll have left a link to them somewhere before now. I'm going to do it in here and this is the table that I do everything on. My stitching and um, sticking and hammering, all those things. It's not a, a table, you know, it's not the be your mum's best dining table, not at all. Okay, I've got my drill bit here, which is for doing the pilot holes. You just need to make sure it's going the right way. And that's the bit for screwing them in later on. So, OK. I don't think it'll come in wrong to to mark the pilot holes somehow. Something like that. Because I don't want to go, I, I like my table. I don't mind doing more jobs like this on it, but I don't want to go through to the table. So if I pile three up like that, and then do my pilot holes there. I'm not gonna go through to the table then, am I? Although I wouldn't mind if I did.
Okay. So five five lengths of wood with a hole in each end. Now I'll put the screwdriver bit in. Make sure I'm going the right way. Okay, so we'll just put the first screw in part of the way. These might be a tiny bit too long. Okay. A bit more. Feels like it's going to fall out. There we go. Okay. space here. So we need to put, um, make that one go under there to give it a bit of structure I think. And then we'll put this one in here and line it up with the hole. underneath but not tighten it up that was a good trick not tightening it up because we need to make this star shape and those are the two two bits of the star there and then um, I'm going to see if I can get that one under there no that won't work we'll go on top and under it's about that yeah we'll do that okay I had this idea that I might be able to weave them but the wood doesn't give enough I'm just going to screw it till it comes out so I can see it and I can line it up with the hole that I've made here the pilot hole and again I'll just put that in a little bit okay and then one more, which I'm kind of guessing that went under. Uh, that goes under and that goes over. Yeah, that works. Let's try that. that one up again with there so we've made the pilot hole we might as well use it okay and then the very last one is over here we want those like that that hole there we go whoops a daisy now we've got our star now very big but what we need to do is just make sure it's rightly proportioned so that all the points of the star are all about the same size so I can play around with this because I haven't uh, made the um, screws tight Actually, that looks about right. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, I might just um, obsessively check. Yeah, you see, so that one's that one could go in a bit. Let's see what that's like now. Yeah, that's better. That's better. That one's not quite right. And that one. Yeah, that'll do, I think. So that's what my star looks like now. 
So what I need to do now is do some pilot holes here and put a couple of screws in so that it doesn't move. So we get back with our little pilot hole thing again. And choose where we're going to screw the new the new holding together screws. We'll put one in there. Hang on a minute. Right way. Okay, I'm gonna put it the screw straight in in case it moves. way home so I think one more like that wouldn't come in wrong um, we'll put one in there then Now I think I can make all these screws tight now because uh, the star's rigid now. Okay, there's my star. And what I need to do now then is put the fairy lights on. There they are. And the wood was um, six pounds and these were 12. So 20 quid, this has cost me. Here we go. And they are outdoor lights, so that's okay. And what I'll have to do when I, I'm, I was looking outside when I got back from the shops to see where I might put this on the house, uh, because um, there isn't anywhere where naturally I think it would go. There's one place, but it's going to be very, very hard to get it there. It's going to need ladders, and I'm not very good on ladders. Just I'll just put that out there right now. So it might be that I need to get some sort of help to do this from someone who doesn't mind climbing up ladders. Right, so we'll untangle this then. It's got a, a sort of tie around it. Let's see if I can get that off neatly. And there's one. And there's another. So as you saw in the shop, there were loads to choose from. But I don't really need it to be very, very long. Okay, there it is now. That's the plug end there. Um... Okay, so let's make a start. Let's see if we can wrap this round here then without uh, getting into a muddle. It, the thing is, is not knowing how how far it will go. I don't want to run out, but then I don't want to have extra um, at the end, do I? So we'll see. We'll just uh, make it go round and round and see what happens. Um, I liked with Arne and Carlos's is that they went just round the outside and they didn't do anything round the middle, so it probably looked like a star. That was nice. So let's uh, let's see if we can do this, shall we? I think I'm going to put them quite tightly together because there seemed to be an awful lot of them. Or I could just go round a second time, I guess, if there were loads. Yeah, that's what we'll do. So I could be some time. Yeah, the hanging of this is going to be a bigger challenge than making it because I have no idea how I'm going to get that far up the side of the house. Like I say, I'm not really very good with ladders.
yeah i'll go around once in a normal way and then if i need if i've got more left over i'll go around again so carlos was saying these make good gifts uh and they're very very easy to make um it would be a, a, a nice spectacular gift wouldn't it i wonder if any of my kids want one of these Almost certainly not. Chat amongst yourselves, guys. got all this left so I'm just going to go so as not to make one bit have more a more concentration of lights than another bit I'm just going to take it round very far spaced apart so that hopefully those lights distribute themselves over the whole star and not just on one arm of it something like that anyway Fortunate, but that's how that's gone. So the lights might look a little more dense on this part uh, than they do on that part, but we'll see. And if it's if it's annoyingly so, then um, I'll take them off and redistribute them. I hope I don't have to do that. I'm just going to wind that last one on there now. We have to wait for it to be night time now and see what that looks like. This is future Kate here. Joe and Barry turned up. Joe helps me in the house with stuff and Barry helps me with outdoor jobs that I can't do. And since the lockdown was lifted, they've been able to come again. And Barry is great on ladders. And so he was very kind and agreed to climb up the ladder and drill a hole in the side of the house for me to put this star up. Watch this. So Barry's here. He's got a ladder. Put a ladder up against the side of the house. I'll hold the bottom. Uh, and uh, you up to this? It's cold. My worry is the cold, Barry. My worry is uh, how, how on earth are you going to do it? Right, well, in that case, we're going to leave the camera running and I'll come and hold the bottom of the... Um... So here's the star. It's freezing out here. You're Thank you. 
quite stay there. Pass me the scarf. up <laughs> okay now we just need it to be night time okay Barry it's time to see if all your hard work paid off you can turn on the Christmas lights <gasps> it works <sighs> that looks so good that looks so good Barry thank you Fantastic. Well, I hope you enjoyed my basic woodworking skills and uh, Barry's fearless ladder climbing and our little trip to town. Uh, and um, so subscribe, give us a thumbs up like, share, comment, all of those things, and I will see you for the next Advent video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye now.